Hello dear friends, here is a piece of Chinese painting paper and one friend asked what to use of this Chinese painting paper. It is very thin and uh, there are two sides and this size is relatively rough. Can you see it? I actually cannot see it that much. But uh, if you go closer to see it, it, it shows a little bit. So one side rougher and the other side smoother. This is a rough side and uh, this is a smooth side. So. <clears throat> Chemically or by the composition, there is no, not much difference on the two sides. And uh, it's not mirror-like. This is the real Chinese painting paper and it absorbs water. So let me try to do some drawing with it. So you can see this is a good quality Chinese painting paper. So the water goes in slowly. When you stay long, the water goes more. I will not use ink because I do not want to damage this paper. And uh, I think some other friends mentioned me. There is another kind, and one friend said she bought some paper, and uh, and one side very smooth, one side smooth, and one side rough. If it is so smooth and so rough, one side like a mirror, like smooth, like this. I do not know whether you bought this kind of paper. One side, quite smooth. You can feel it is absolutely smooth, machine smooth. And this side is much rougher, rougher. And if you have got this paper, this is a very, very inexpensive paper. And uh, the paper crinkles a lot. It's not a good paper. So the, the water goes immediately without any retention. It's not a good paper, and it's a, a very, very inexpensive paper. I hope you didn't buy this paper. I do not like this paper. So you can write on this side, or practice on this side, and uh, it is just the surface smoothness different difference. There is no chemical difference. There is no coating on the front side, or no coating on the on the back side, it's just, uh, it's like we make soup, we make, um, sorry for the noise, if we make, um, we make milk skin, and then there is a skinny, very, very smooth, skinny part, and that is the smooth part, or if we make soup, um, and then there is a skin on top of it. So that is a very smooth part. Anyway, um, one side is the smooth part and the, the, the other side is not smooth part. There is no chemical difference. There is no coating difference, no sizing difference. You can use whichever way, whichever side. Some people like smooth surface. Some people like rough surface. Usually we like rough surface because it has a tooth, right? And smooth surface is, uh, is always not so good for writing. If you write calligraphy, you use not so smooth paper. You use the paper a little bit to sand it or matte feeling, which is much more comfortable. So let's compare this paper again. I'm sure, you, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I do not know what paper you, you have bought. But if it is a very thin paper, you can tell me the brand, actually. If you tell me the brand, I know what paper you have bought. 
and uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of manufacturers or sellers. They sell this very, very, very inexpensive paper, and uh, in the name of Chinese painting paper. But uh, you, you, you end up actually get very frustrated because the paper crinkles and easily to break. You can see, so easy to break. And this is the real Chinese paper, and uh, the 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 water uh, spread slowly. So you can see there is a retention on the paper. And you break the paper. The paper has long fiber, relatively not so easy to break. I'm trying to break. And now I try very hard, it breaks, of course, if you try hard to break. And, and um, so this is a good paper. It's not so easy to, be, to, 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 to break, and uh, it... Uh, absorb the paper much better, uh, absorb the ink, the moisture much, much better. So if you have any question, uh, this is as much as I, I, can plain, I, I can explain. Chinese painting paper has this natural, natural white paper that a little bit yellowish, a, lo a little bit, uh, it's like a white, natural white, not bleach white. And if you have this paper bleach white and uh, with this cold white color, that is the inexpensive color. You can still see some of the difference. This is the inexpensive one. This is a good one. Okay. And uh, I, I, I always believe good things can tell. And if you have a, um, a good product by itself, you can, you can see it, you can feel it, you can really definitely get it. This is a good one, this is not a good one. So, at the end, whichever side you use, there is no difference. It's only personal preference. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, friends. Happy weekend and Happy New Year.